Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel again. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make this classic French dish called pomme puree, essentially a ultra smooth potato puree with loads of cream and butter that is used in just about every French kitchen that I've worked at or eaten at. It's really good when paired with braises, a juicy ribeye, or just straight up as a side dish. Really good to have in your repertoire. So without further ado, let's dive into the recipe. All right, so first off, you wanna start by peeling some Yukon Gold potatoes so that there are absolutely no dark spots or eyes anywhere to be seen on the surface of the potato, since this recipe really shines when it's an extremely clean looking puree. Also, if working with a large amount of potatoes, make sure to put them in water so they don't turn brown while you peel the rest. Once they're peeled, cut them into a small to medium dice so they cook fairly quickly. Once they are diced up, get a large pot filled about three quarters of the way up with water and bring it to a rolling boil with a generous seasoning of salt. Add in the diced potatoes and cook them until they are super tender. You really wanna make sure they are very mashable, so if you aren't sure, carefully take a few pieces out of the water and mash them with a spoon to make sure the center isn't slightly raw still. It should instantly turn into a paste-like consistency when mashed. About three to four minutes before the potatoes are ready, heat up the milk and cream in another pot until it starts to simmer, then you're gonna turn it off. It's really important to do this, otherwise if you add cold cream and milk to this, it might make the potatoes a little gummy. Next, you're gonna strain the water out of the potatoes and then you're going to pass them through a fine sieve or a strainer to get a really even texture all the way through the potato. If you wanna to go to the next level with this puree, put it through a potato mill, then pass it through a fine mesh sieve to make it ultra, ultra smooth. Now that the potatoes are passed through the sieve, add in the hot cream and milk mixture, turn the heat to low, and give it a really good mix. After that, slowly add in the cold butter while constantly stirring to make sure that it emulsifies into the cream and milk. I tend to use cold butter because it incorporates at just the right pace so it doesn't overwhelm the cream's ability to absorb it as it melts. You can use warm butter, but just be careful when adding it in so it's not too much at the same time. As you do this, you'll notice that eventually the potatoes will start to become super smooth and creamy once you're done adding in the rest of the butter. Once the potatoes are done, season with salt to taste to make sure they are a really good savory flavor, then it is time to plate. Now there are a million and one ways to plate pomme puree, but I either like to do the pillows like these here or a few giant dollops right in the middle of the plate and a good smear. I also like to add a little melted butter over the top to really highlight the richness of this dish, but for me, brown butter is the ultimate garnish when it comes to these potatoes. And that's it, beautiful pomme puree. All right, so palm puree is done. This looks pretty dang good. I have to say, as I was making the palm puree, I reminded myself of um, the first few times I was making it. I'm like, what is the difference between this and mashed potatoes? And I used to get that, and still today get this same question. What's so special about palm puree? Why does it differ from mashed potatoes? And kind of what's that all about? Hopefully the video did some of that justice in differentiating the consistency and how you incorporate uh, the fats together and things like that. Very different than mashed potatoes where it's kind of a throw and go type of recipe where there's not um, too much thought into emulsification and cream and types of lipids that you're gonna be interacting with um, and using the potato as like a binder for those things, but you're actually emulsifying the fats within that binding. Hopefully that makes some sense. I'm gonna stop gabbing, dive into this and tell you guys how I did. Ooh. Yeah, you don't get that for mashed potatoes. Mm. Mm. 
I gotta say, I've never really had it with a brown butter before, and I'm thinking like, why didn't we put that on a lot of the uh, menu items when uh, we had pom puree? Because it's like just was this with just uh, brown butter. Wow. Now this is making me crave like a really beautiful ribeye sliced over the top with some beautiful uh, maybe asparagus on the side and uh, a little au jus and really go crazy with it. Man, these are good. You could actually even go um, a little bit finer. Mm. With the milling or with the passing, you could pass it again. If you really want a super elevated pom puree that's like the, the epitome of a pom puree, you could pass this a few times, have a potato mill, pass it again, and just kind of go through that. Um, also, choice of potato, fingerling potatoes really make a beautiful pom puree. It's even uh, more dense than this. Um, but yeah, there's definitely lots of varieties, lots of ways to go about it. I've made it a few different ways uh, in professional kitchens. There's always that emulsification factor involved, uh, but the choices like Yukon fingerling or other uh, less starchy types of potatoes work really well with this. So that's kind of the, the difference. So um, if you guys enjoyed this recipe, make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel if you guys enjoy what I do here. Leave a comment down below for different video requests, uh, video ideas, things like that. Equipment links and the recipe will be down in the D-box as well, all the way at the bottom, so make sure you check that out. Oh, also don't forget to hit that notification bell. Um, I know a lot of you who have been commenting lately since I've started posting more have been telling me you haven't been seeing my videos and you don't know why. I think the reason is because you're not getting the notifications when I, uh, I post a video. So if you guys want to check them out and be uh, up to date with all of my recent posts, make sure you click that bell and uh, you'll get all of my uh, newest and greatest stuff coming up. So, all right, later guys.